People may have written you off. People may have given up on you. You may have given up on yourself. You may have written yourself off. Listen to me. God has not yet finished with you. God is still working on you. God is not done yet with you. God still has a plan for you. You may no longer see a way. God has a way. He is a way maker. You may no longer see a path moving forward. Remember that God is a God of impossibilities. He is a way maker and a miracle working God. I want to encourage you not to put full stop where God has placed a comma. God works in mysterious ways. God's ways are not our ways. God's thoughts are not our thoughts. Be patient with God. Do not be too quick or hasty to arrive at a conclusion. You never know what God is up to. Give God time. Be patient with God. Be patient with yourself. God's time is the best. He will do it at his own time. Maybe experts have done their best to help you and nothing is changing, and they told you that this is the end of the road for you. Whose report shall we believe? Is it that of the world or that of Master Jesus? Jesus has the final say. Where the power of men stopes, the power of God begins. In every situation or condition we find ourselves in life, let us be very careful not to put full stop where God has placed a comma. You may think that it is over, but it is not yet over until God says it is over. What God says will be. God calls the shots. The bulk ends at God's table. When God has not spoken, every other speaker is a noisemaker. He has the power to determine how things will be. No human being can take the place of God. Do not surrender yet until you hear from God. Do not go until God tells you to go. Listen to God. Learn to obey His commands. Be attentive to His instructions. Who is that person telling you that you will not amount to anything? Who is that person telling you that you will not make it? Who is that person telling you that you will die? Who is that person telling you that you will never have peace of mind? Who is that person discouraging you? Who is feeding your spirit with all those bad news? All those people have no authority over you. All those people are not your God. They do not have a clue what God has in store for you. When God will reveal what He has for you, it will blow their mind. There is nothing the grace of God cannot do. There is nothing the hand of God cannot do. God can still save you. God can still heal you. It is never too late for God. God can still restore you. God can still lift you up and make you great. God can still restore your health and your marriage. God can still redirect your children in the right path. You can still fulfill your dream. They may have buried you, but God knows you are a seed and that you will germinate and grow, blossom, flourish, and bear fruit. It may seem you have lost. Don't worry. God is better for you. They may be laughing at you, mocking you, and making fun of you. Relax, God knows what he is doing. Remember, do not take the silence of God for granted. God works in silence. Our God is not a noisemaker. He manifests when people were not expecting. Keep your eyes fixed on God in all things and in all situations. He is the author and finisher of our faith. He is our beginning and our end. People can do their worst to you. People may push you down. People may forsake you. Life may knock you down. You may feel defeated right now. You may be at the rock bottom right now. Do you feel betrayed? rejected and abandoned? You lost everything in your life? You feel empty? God sees all that. God knows all that. You may not know how or the when. Keep trusting God. He will meet you at the point for your needs. I want you to activate your hope in God. If God has not put a full stop in your life, you are still good to go. Everything happening in your life is a comma. You don't have to worry. God can change the situation for you. Do not fear those who think they have the power. 
All power belongs to God. They are not God. After they must have done their worst, God will do his best for you. You don't need to argue with people or try to go back and forth with them. Just be cool, wait, and trust in God's providence. It is not yet the end in your life. It is not yet the end in that situation. God is still alive. God is still on the throne. We have nothing to worry. It may be night now. The day will soon dawn. It may be darkness now. The light will soon break forth. Agree with God. What you are up against right now is a comma. It is not a full stop. God is on the way. Help is on the way. This is not how your story will end. You will not be in this situation forever. Your day is coming. They will be shocked. All those who saw the full stop in your life will be shocked to know it was only a comma. Your comeback will be greater than your setback. God bless you.